Why they keep down Scooter, you know? Uh, one thing about Scooter, he, he uh, always find a way to win. He gonna dig deep, you know? And I, I, he not letting nobody come up from, but 118, 115, and coming to take his belts up, it's not happening. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Mike Check Podcast. This is T-Word, the people's champ. Thank you for tapping in. We do appreciate your support and your feedback. Thank you graciously for supporting our channel. Today, we're going to talk about Stephen Fulton and his ability to beat Noya Inouye by knockout in their upcoming matchup. So previous entries in this series, we've discussed how Stephen Fulton has a few paths to victory to win by decision. And we've also talked about the advantages Noya Inouye might have to win, including a knockout victory. Additionally, in this series, we've talked about Noya Inouye having an ability to knock out Stephen Fulton or actually win by decision without funny business on the cards. So today we're going to flip that coin over and talk about Stephen Fulton winning by knockout and how he can do so. Before we start, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We do appreciate it. Without further delay, let's get on with the video. So it's evidently clear that Stephen Fulton is a boxer versus a puncher. And his ability to move around the ring, use combinations, foot movement, and defense allow him to slip in and out of danger, get his punches off, and then set up his offense in different ways for the next round. Basically, he's not your knockout artist. He's only got eight KOs in his career, and that's not a bad thing. He's been dominant in many of his fights. He hasn't needed to knock his opponent out. However, he has stated that he is going over to Japan and you don't take a fight in enemy territory looking for a decision. In other words, he's implying that he's got a strategy to knock Noya in a way out. In addition, Bozy Ennis, father of Jerron Ennis, also a Philly native, just like Fulton, has stated that he believes that cool boy Steph can come up with a knockout in this fight as well and actually stop Inouye. But nobody's necessarily talking about the path to victory that's going to get him to put in a way out for the first time in his career and put him down. So the expectation is that Fulton is going to use the ring. He's going to move laterally. He's going to use his defensive skills to avoid heavy punches and slip in and out of range while also initiating offense. But what they're not talking about is his ability to get inside and do specific things that will offset the interior offense of Anoye, who is a really good inside fighter and also works really well to the body. These are not two things that are really known for Stephen Fulton, but he's going to need to try this in order to get the knockout. The issue lies in the fact that he's really going to have to have his punch resistance up so he can't be weight drained. He's got to make the weight the right way, but he does believe that he's stronger and that because he intends to fight during Ramadan, he's going to try and keep his fight streak or his KO streak going because he's gotten three knockouts in his last four fights during Ramadan. He feels stronger and more focused. That alone tells me that his confidence is at an all-time high, and he believes that his own skill set is more than enough to pull off the victory in foreign territory in resounding fashion. Now, strategically... He's going to need to win the 50-50 exchanges on the inside and avoid taking damage to the body because over time, if you destroy the body and break it down, eventually the head will fall. That's probably the strategy that Anaway is going to take in, and that's exactly what he's going to attempt to execute as soon as Fulton decides he wants to fight on the inside. I could see this fight going either way if that happens. However, I do favor Anaway and a fire fight. However, a good timely shot to the chin and maybe a combination downstairs and upstairs by Fulton might put in a position he's never been in. And we could see him get dropped or maybe get dropped and not make the count. There's a very limited potential of that outcome. However, it is possible. So for all those listening, you may believe that there's some bias in believing this, but just like in the Inouye video video where I discuss him winning by decision, which I think is unlikely. I can also look at Stephen Fulton winning by knockout, which is also unlikely. But all these things are possible because it is boxing and any given night something can happen. 
So I hope that you all have enjoyed this video. We'd love to get your comments. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been T-Word with the mic check. I'm exiting the booth. Until the next time, peace.